G'day guys, what's cracking? It's Ralph here. And today I want to talk to you about the eight big limitations that the Insta360 Studio has and how a free piece of software called Video Prop Vlogger can solve all your problems. Welcome to my new studio. It's obviously not my new studio. I can't be in my studio for a couple of reasons at the moment. One, that my in-laws are staying and need somewhere to live. However, let's get on with it. So Insta360 some time ago, it started to speak to creators and ask them how the Insta360 Studio could be improved. And heaps of creators, I wasn't asked, but heaps of creators uh, put their th thoughts in, but there's still eight big limitations, eight big gaps. Now, if you load up Insta360 Studio, you will notice in the bottom left-hand corner that there's an option for you to then move your project to Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro, and both of those options are really expensive. So what if there was a freebie? A free piece of software that could solve your problems and has an epic competition running at the moment that can really, um, well, spark your life up by winning a free GoPro Hero 10. Be pretty epic, wouldn't it? All right, so first of all, you need to follow the links in the description below to find this piece of software, Video Proc Vlogger. You then download it for free. It is free. Once you've downloaded it, Video Proc Vlogger looks like this. Opens up a new project and you choose a new project. So we are going to call this YouTube project. I like 4K, 30 frames a second. Custom video resolution should you choose to go there. Then we go new project, it saves to here. Up it comes. Now you can drag and drop into here or if you press this plus, you can add files and navigate your way through there. I'm gonna choose these four files, I'm gonna select them and in they pop. So the first limitation of the Insta360 Studio is you can't put clips together, but here you can. You drag them into the video track and you can drag as many as you like, as many as you have preferred. If you click on the timeline and you stretch it to the right, it zooms in. If you stretch it to the left, it zooms out. And you can also zoom minus and zoom plus here, depending on what you want it to look like. And two fingers on the Mac trackpad will get you moving nicely along that. Now, because on the video prop vlogger, you can combine clips, that also means you have at your disposal a bunch of transitions, 61 at this stage to be precise. And you can put that over there Second limitation of the Insta360 Studio is you can't add music. And I don't know if you've ever used a 360 camera, but the audio usually taken in situ is garbage. But here, all we need to do is go to Media Library. You can take a track that we may have just downloaded and drag it in. It drags it in really quickly, adds it to music, and then I can take it down and add it to the audio track here. And without hesitation, it works. All I do then is right click on the timeline and I go to mute, it mutes it and that will play. Third, you can't add titles. In Video Prop Vlogger you can. You just take this to there and let's say it's the end and we can play. We have all sorts of different options you can choose with the credit titles on how they flow on what they say and the colors and the formatting that they take on. You can even make them bigger, smaller, and all of that. Fourthly, on Insta360 Studio, you can't play around with the color at all. But in the video prop vlogger, you can go nuts. You have so many options. You just click color here and up come tons and tons of LUTs. Lifestyle, portrait, landscape. You can even select your own favorites list and then just overlay them over the top and you can see an instant preview of what that looks. And then of course you can change over here what that specific LUT looks like to suit your personal preference. Or you can go to none and just color grade all you like to your heart's content here. And you can also increase or decrease the intensity of the LUT that you use. And so there's a myriad of opportunities to make your footage look exactly how you want. And if you muck it up, you can just reset all and go back to where you started. There's a couple of other features that I wanna run you through that are really, really cool. Uh, if you go up here, up to the top of the frame, you can put your center line in, so you can choose where that line goes. And it just pauses halfway through. 
you can have a midline so you can choose where it is but you can go here one of the challenges of Final Cut Pro is you don't have the ease of doing that and it just drives you a little bit batty you can even put a cross mark to so say you just want to go um, I really want to measure the corner of that car and make sure it stays in focus as we play it through well that's how you can do it and then you can use the motion um, adjustment to change whereabouts your frame works and sits and, and moves. You can also choose to lock those things in place or move them. If you would like to clear the guides completely, you do that. And if you just wanna take a screen grab of that, you just hit the little camera button and it files away a screen grab of what you're looking at wherever you wanna put it. Let's talk effect filters number five. You can have as many effect filters as you like and you just drag them and they sit in the effect track here. You can make that longer or shorter and so we can have six of the same things. You can put an effect on top of an effect. You can go a bit of matrix action. Can we do three effects on top of each other? I would not recommend that, but look at what you can do. That's amazing, right? And if you don't like them, you just delete and just go back to our matrix happening. And look at all these you can choose from. We have some fireworks happening. Wow, it's just going off. Look how exciting that car ride is. Oh, they thought of everything. Oh, look at that. That's cool, right? That's really cool. And it just goes on and on and on and on and on. Let's go smoke. There you go, it's a misty day. So cool, all these transitions, and look, there's tons of them. You can play around with them, 61 of them. You can't do that on Insta360 Studio. Number six is limited speed ramping and no motion effects. So this is where this software comes into its own. If we choose speed here, we can not only slow down and speed up, if we go constant, we can choose what sort of speed we want this video to travel at. So go from an eighth, quarter, half, all the way up to eight. And we can actually make that more if we choose. I think on Insta360 Studio, you can only get down to a quarter, but here's what else you can do. You can choose to put your own preset into the speed ramping. And so this speeds it up to get to a fastest thing and then drops it right down to slow. So if we watch this, it goes fast. You see how it's speeding down and just slows right down. And so you can choose which one of these you think will best suit your video. And what's more is once you put it on, you can then fiddle around with it and actually go, I want it slow there, but I want it fast there. And I really want this to peak up like that. Now here's what's fascinating about this and really exciting about Video Prop Vlogger at the moment. They've got a competition out where you can win a GoPro Hero 10 by following the link in the description below and going to their website and answering a few questions about some videos they've put up and they quiz you and if you get 100 points you go in the running to win a GoPro Hero 10. It's dead easy folks and such a, a great opportunity so I'd encourage you to dash over there because the competition hasn't got much longer to go and you really don't want to miss out on the opportunity. Let's talk about export. There are such limited export options but on the Video Proc Vlogger, you can re-change the name, YouTube Lotus, that's what that car is that we've been driving around. You can choose your format about how it comes out. But if you just want to take the audio off it, so it's a particular video that you've taken, you just want the audio, you can just rip the audio off. Or you can go to Video Proc Converter and do that much, much easier. You don't need to go through all these things. You can choose a low. So if it's a, a draft you want to send to a client, you can choose low and just pump it out there. You can choose high and it's four. Or you can go to extreme and use the high quality engine on lossless mode to get the very finest quality. You can choose your video codec, your frames per second. It doesn't do 240, it only goes up to 120, so keep that in mind. And then you can choose your audio. Don't export audio track, you can just have the video by itself. And then I would encourage the enabling of hardware acceleration, and you can read for further details, or you can download it for free. I have done it, and it is fantastic. It really makes a difference, a massive difference. And then all you need to do 
is start. The eighth limitation is you can't leave that program with a finished product, but with Video Prop Vlogger, you can. Once you export, you have your titles, your audio, your video that's all spliced and cut together how you want it. Mm, it's ready to go. So I'd encourage you to give this piece of software a look. It's free, it's constantly being updated and upgraded so you know that there's developers behind the scenes working on solving all the problems that any software might develop as they look toward the future of helping creatives like you and me create better stuff easier. And I hope that's what's been the result of this video. Give it a look. Thanks for watching everyone. Please subscribe, join the channel if you like, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.